Hi, it's Ursula from EasyScraps.com, and today I have a just a quick little technique to do with one of the new Easy Scrap stamps. So sit back, and I hope you enjoy this video. So this is a stamp from um, the Easy Scraps line, and if you can see, it's got a little bit of detail. There's, it's actually the outline of. Um, a woman, you know, like a fairy, and but it's got a lot of this blob o rubber type um, surface right in and around. And I wanted to try to get the image of the girl and the wings, but not have so much rubber, just kind of plain old ink showing. So I'm going to show you a trick that I did with this type of with this type of stamp. So I'm going to take my ink pad and I'm just using VersaFine because I like the way the VersaFine ink works. And I'm going to ink up the part of the stamp that I want to use. Actually, I should have it on a support. I'm going to use my acrylic block as a prop up my camera so anyway now I'm going to take something I'm just going to use a piece of felt right now you can use foam you can use a tissue you can use anything you want and I'm just going to start dabbing away and wiping away some of that ink on the on the plain rubber part and you want to kind of pounce into the outline to soften that up a little bit And VersaFine is nice because it kind of stays wet a little bit longer. And maybe in here a little bit. I actually missed this edge a little bit. So I'm going to tap over here a little bit more. And then wipe away the excess. And again, I'm kind of pouncing in to kind of soften that edge. If you have one of those daubers that fits on the edge of your finger, you could try that too. And then you're just going to stamp as usual. So now, as you can see, you get the image of the girl, but the edge all around it is nice and soft, and it isn't hard dark blue like the outline is so now I can go in if I want and take some ink and start building a background around it and I can use multiple colors. I may want to use even some of that blue that I inked with to kind of soften that edge. And I can pull in some colored pencils if I want to just kind of color in and use some colored pencils to give it some texture and you're going to be more careful when you do this and make it look nicer but you kind of get the idea so it just gives a different look to your rubber stamp so I hope you enjoyed that lesson thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time